business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9.30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. All right, 25 minutes before 10 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. 74 degrees, temperatures today climbing to 96 degrees. Wow. Uh, No mention of rain in today's forecast. Uh, Tomorrow about 90 the high. Saturday, 84 the high. And there is mention of rain, only about a 50% chance for Saturday. But Mother's Day looks beautiful. Uh, We want it to rain, but we want, you know, we want Mother's Day to be nice. So 91 degrees, the expected high on Mother's Day. And the only mention of rain on Mother's Day is like 2 a.m. And it's only like a 10% 10 chance. So the, the outdoor things that you are hoping to do with your mom or with your family, uh, you should have uh, no problem as far as the weather is concerned. But you might want to have something that will grow in the garden. Oh, and yeah. Bob Wines Community Gardens and Nursery has lots of things to choose from. And who's going to update on this? It's Lori. Good morning, Lori. <laughs> Good morning. Where are you today? Are you there? I'm here. I'm at the nursery today. Oh, okay. You just The signal sounds different, like you're in like a foreign country I'm or actually, something. No, I'm actually... <laughs> kind of, I'm, sitting, I'm sitting outside... Where it's nice and peaceful and calm. <laughs> oh, is that is that your secret to to? Uh, That's my secret. Do you meditate? <laughs> when, when, you know when you watch a talk show and actors and actresses. Oh, I meditate about every day. I meditate. Uh, <laughs> what is? What do you mean? What do you mean you meditate? I wish. I wish I had the time to do that. I don't understand what they do. What do they just sit there and look? Look at things? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But they do it every day. And they say it with yeah. a, and they do it with a British accent even though they're born in New Jersey. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> that must that, that must calm them. <laughs> do you know what you know what my my dream is? I'm going to meditate underneath my apple tree when it grows big enough. Right now it's still there you go. It's still in a coffee cup and Robin brought in Let some Let me tell you. Dirt. I I have I have little apple trees here and I sold a couple of them last week. A couple of them last week to someone and they had little apples on them and I took pictures of the little apples and I was going to send them to you but I haven't sent them to you yet. Oh really? So take a look at the little apples on them. They yes. have apples. How big are they? Yep. Nice. Yeah, the apples. I mean they look like they look like little apples. They're really cute. I'll, I'll have to take a picture and but, send but, one to but you. But I mean how tall are the trees? I have the picture so. Oh, the trees are only maybe 5 feet tall. Wow. My little guy right yeah. here is going to be 5 feet tall. <laughs> He sure will, eventually. I, I feel like a mother. I feel like a mother right now. I feel like the mother of an... You know, I ate the, I, I, I ate the poor thing's father, you know. <laughs> That's lovely. <laughs> so, let's see. Robin gave me a note from you. Let's see what your talking points are. Um, hanging baskets. Yes, we've got beautiful blooming hanging baskets that you can give away for Mother's Day. We've got them like buy one, get one half price. We've been selling lots of them. They're really pretty. So, yes. Hanging baskets. Why would get one half price? Is that what it says? Yeah. Get one half price? Uh, African violets. How do you get them? Yes. You go to Africa? Where do you get them from? No. <laughs> no, we have a supplier that grows them for us. We went and picked some up yesterday, so we've got some real pretty African violets in different colors. Some of the, some some pink and white, some purple and white, some solid colors. They're just really pretty African violets right now. Oh, that is neat. I bet you Africa is pretty. We always, we always say Ireland is pretty. I bet you... <laughs> I mean, Africa's got to be pretty. Isn't that the, like the cradle of mankind? I think so. The Garden of Eden. <laughs> Wasn't the Garden of Eden in Africa? <laughs> got, I, be, I can't answer that. It's got to be, gotta be a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it becomes... Oh. Po- <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Just wondering. African violet. My neighbor has an African violet. She has um, special food for it because when she goes on vacation, she'll ask me to take care of it. And she's got this yes. big opera of stuff. And uh, I haven't killed it yes. yet. So... That's a good thing. Good for you. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, in, in African violets, you have to find just the right place to set them for them to do well. But they're very, very pretty. They're gorgeous. Well, except for, the yeah, pretty, really except for the pretty part, that's what people say about me. you got to set them in the right place in order for them to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, Robin has a, a, a flower on her um, jacket, blouse. What do you call that thing, Robin? Yes. There it is right there. I'm putting it on the streaming. It's... it's uh, it's wool. It, what's it made? Oh, made out of wool. Her son sent it. He bought it in Scotland. Yes, they went on vacation. Oh, wow. 
But what? the other cool thing is my bracelet, and it's made out of the heather plant from Scotland. There's some kind of hand-done process that they make it look into a, a gem. So I just think it's oh, wow. absolutely, I've never seen it before. Absolutely outstanding. It's all flowers, but it's in a gem. Isn't that amazing? How it's nice. a, a flower yeah. in, a, in a bracelet. Yeah, yeah it's pretty cool. cool. You know what the, yeah. f- the flower on her uh, shirt on it looks like? It looks like they took a kilt off of one of those Scottish guys. <laughs> <laughs> and cut it up and made it into a little flower. Yeah. <laughs> right awesome. now, there's some guy with a flower pattern cut out of his. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's missing. Exactly. <laughs> he's missing something. <laughs> uh, when when you say the hanging baskets, um, is it the uh, plastic pot or do you have the special, like those that that brown ground looking stuff? We have the plastic pots, but we also have the ones that have like a coconut liner on them. Mm-hmm. Those are the brown looking ones. That's a coconut liner that they have. So we have a few of those also. Oh, I love those. They're so pretty. Yeah. Yeah, they really are. And they last quite a long time, too. Those coconut liners do for you. What are you going to do on Mother's Day? Are you staying home? Where are you going? I'm staying home. Okay. You're going to meditate? We're relaxing. Med- yeah, I'm going to meditate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. On the list, did we, t- we didn't talk about fuchsia. Am I saying that right? Fuchsia? Fuchsia. Fuchsia. Fuchsia plants. Fuchsia. Fuchsia plants. Well, what is which that? And they're blooming real good right now. Fuchsia plants are really cool. They kind of have a bloom that hangs down. They're either red and white or, pur- uh, red and white or purple and red. Um, and we have a, a, a variety that's good for this area. It's more of a heat-tolerant fuchsia plant because a northern fuchsia plant doesn't tolerate the heat that we have down here. But the ones that we have are more heat-tolerant. So, and then we've got carnations right now, and sunflowers, and Gerber daisies. We just got a lot of neat stuff. I'm looking at the and pictures. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for the fuchsia on, uh, on. Oh, you got the bougainvillea. Look, I have a bougainvillea. It does not look like this. <laughs> Yours is wild. Mine is crazy. Mine is horrible. Mine is like the thorn, the thorns of Christ, right? The, you, you know the crown of Christ, all those thorns. That's what mine looks yes. like. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you need to trim it way back and let it come back again. Yeah, but then the, <laughs> then all the flowers are gone, and they do not look as pretty yeah. as yours do. Wow. See, I would buy that, but I wouldn't buy mine. You'd have to come see right. mine. I'll have to bring you. A, <laughs> I'll bring you a twig or something. There you go. Br- take a pic- Take a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, beautiful gardenias too, and and roses. Oh, yeah. They're just and yeah. they're so yeah. fragrant. Great for Mother's Day too, and the gardenias are really budded right now and lots of blooms on them they are so fragrant we've got them in a bush form we've got them in tree forms same thing with the roses we've got roses we've got some of the easy care roses like the knockouts and the drift roses and then we have some of the other varieties the hybrid teas which are the more you know the more fragrant ones but they take a little more care than the drift and the knockout do so we've got lots of roses and they're all blooming right now too and can azaleas we've got azaleas still so there's a lot of stuff can we buy gardenias and roses and keep them in a pot because i know some people that live in apartments yes you sure can you can keep them in pots and we've got just got a new pottery also so we've got some real nice decorative pots that you could always You know, pot them up in a decorative pot. It's a good gift for mom, too. You know, and we can also, we can pot up anything that you want in the decorative pots also. Let me me play something for you, see if you know what the sound is. I did this on the gardening show on Tuesday. Oh, isn't that beautiful? (laughs) Mm. You there? That's a wind chime. That's it. Yeah, that's your wind chime. I'm playing that's, your video. That's what I was going to say. That's from Bob White's Community Gardens wind chime. That's and so we just got new wind chimes in, and we have an amazing wind chime that plays amazing grace. Is that not cool? No way. Oh. Yes. It plays amazing grace. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Yeah. How's it yep. do it? You mean just the wind? It just, just the wind. Yeah. Yep. The wind does it. But doesn't this sound like like a fairy's going to show up any minute does, when you hear this? It, yes, it really does. <laughs> 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 or something's going to show up. I don't know. <laughs> wait a minute. Is this, is this the Amazing Grace one? Wait, wait. Oh, that's a pretty one, too. Is the Amazing Grace one on here? I don't think it's on there because we just got those in. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. And, it, yeah. and uh, you also have Gerber daisies, and I just love yes. those. They are just yes. have such personality. They really do. And we've got solid colors. We even got some bicolor Gerber daisies in, so they've got like two different colors on the bloom. Really, really pretty Gerber daisies, all in full bloom. Good price on them, too. They're only like two ninety nine. 
Oh, they're my. Usually four, they're usually like four ninety nine, so they're really, really super deal on them. Well, Mother's Day is coming up. Go to Bob Wines Community Gardens and Nursery. Lots of really good gift ideas there. I, I love the idea of the, the amazing Grace wind chimes. That's cool. Yeah. Gotta yeah. Go check really that out. neat. wonder how they, yeah. somebody figured out something. How come none of us thought of that? We should have thought of that. <laughs> right. What song, what song can I put on there? <laughs> Only the good die young. Only the good die young? By yeah, Billy, there you go. Billy Joel, imagine that. <laughs> A wind chime with that song. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lori Williams, thank you. You're so fun. Uh, thank you for being on with us. Go visit Lori over at Bob Wines Community Gardens and Nursery. Get something for your mom or for your wife or for your daughter or for your niece. Or some. for yourself. I mean, it's so beautiful to treat yourself yeah. to some flowers. I'm going to do that. Are you? Yes, I am. We gotta like figure how to make babies. a bracelet out of a flower. Yeah, you would not believe this, Laura. You got to see this. It's it's unbelievable. You you would I would even, love to see. You that. wouldn't even think it was a flower in there. No. Wow, it's that's just, amazing. It looks like some kind of a stone or something. All right. Well, uh, so what? What? Let's see. The uh, we need to sell some stuff. So what's a f- good phone number? Three five two six two nine five seven six six, and we're open Monday through Friday nine to four thirty, and Saturday nine to three. Go see Lori. Go see Bob Wines, and and uh, make your mother happy. Thank you, and, and meditate. Don't forget to meditate too. <laughs> with, with wind chimes, you can meditate. That's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lori. Thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hey, this is Matt Wilkerson from Verizon. You work all day, right? So why would you want to spend your night out shopping for that new phone? Well, Marion County, let me and Verizon help you out. I can deliver to your home or office, saving you precious time. Phone, tablets, internet, home phones, even accessories. Whatever you need, we will deliver free of charge. Call me at the store, 352-528-0020. That's 528-0020. That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field, and now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 572-2510. That's 572-2510. Here is your 30-second news brief. Marion County Sheriff's deputies are searching for a man who shouted sexual comments at an 8th grader at a bus stop in Silver Spring Shores. Two convenience store clerks in Ocala were arrested for cheating customers of lottery winnings. An airplane landing at Orlando-Melbourne International Airport lost a propeller over the Indian River, narrowly missing a fisherman. And the Florida Retail Federation says consumers will spend more than ever this year on Mother's Day. And that is your news brief from The Source. Hey, I'm Gary. And I'm Eric. Did you know that Red Eye Radio is on WOCA The Source every night from 2 to 6 a.m. and it's live. That's right. No tape shows here. We know that the news doesn't sleep. And neither do we. So we're here with you live from 2 till 6 a.m. every weekday. Call us 866-90-RED-EYE. So join me, Gary McNamara, and me, Eric Harley, every weeknight to discuss the latest in news and entertainment right here on WOCA The Source. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. On this Thursday, mostly sunny and hot with a high of 91 near the coast, 98 inland. Partly cloudy and warm Thursday night, lows in the 60s. Friday will be a very warm day with some sunshine. It'll become breezy in the afternoon, high 87 on the coast, 94 inland. For Saturday, times of clouds and sun with a shower or thunderstorm in the area, the high 83 of the coast, 93 inland. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Mother's Day is the 14th, and you know what that means. Symphony Under the Stars at the Ocala Golf Club, 3130 East Silver Springs Boulevard. Bring a picnic and enjoy food specialties, fabulous music from the Ocala Symphony Orchestra, and fireworks. It'll be very dark after the fireworks, so be sure to bring a flashlight. Adult advance tickets are $20 and $25 at the door. Children, 6 to 17, just $5. This is a wonderful way to spend Mother's Day evening with the family. Gates open at 530, and the concert begins at 7 o'clock. See you there. Next Generation MD is the future of healthcare now. Listen in the first and third Thursday at 10 a.m. to learn how the future in PRP treatments are here in our area. Find out the many ways that Dr. Juan Jordan, MD, Charles Brooks, NP, and case manager Mark Shaw have brought the family 